So the next question is your Costas receiver. One of the question asked frequently is explain how Costas receiver is used for DSP AC signal, which is asked for seven marks in the year 2021. Okay, so basically what is meant by Costas receiver? It is a practical synchronous receiving system for DSB AC signal, right? It is used for carrier signal recovery from the suppressed carrier modulation technique. So what is the use of this Costas loop? Costas loop is used to make both the carrier and the locally generated signal in phase with each other. Okay, basically your uh, system consists of the system consists of three parts. Okay, so I can tell that. So let me take your upper part is called as your okay your upper part above part is called as your first part that is called as your upper coherent detector. It is called as upper coherent detector it is also called by another name it is called as your i channel in phase channel okay and your lower part is called as your lower coherent detector or it is also called as quadrature channel or q channel Okay, and in the middle, you will be having a combination of your phase discriminator and a voltage controlled oscillator. Basically, let me tell you a, an overall view of how the circuit works. Okay, it is a demodulator circuit. So, you know that you are going to reconstruct your original signal back. That is your low frequency M of T in the um, out as your output okay so what will be your input to your demodulator so you know that input is your modulated signal which is nothing but your dsb sc signal mm -hmm. so dsb sc signal you know that s of t is equal to what is your dsb sc signal m of t into c of t right so you will be getting ac into cos 2 pi fct into m of t now your dsb sc signal is given as input to your both the product modulator that is your product modulator 1 and your product modulator 2. Your I channel will consist of a combination of your product modulator and a low pass filter. Similarly, your Q channel will also consist of a product modulator and a low pass filter. So your DSB SC signal will be given uh, as input to both the product modulator and the multiplication of both the signal. So one of the input to your product modulator is your DSB SC signal and the other input is nothing but your local oscillator output which is cos 2 pi FCT plus 5. So here you can see that the same uh, local oscillator output that is your signal cos 2 pi FCT plus 5 is given to a 90 degree phase shifter and that is going to be your second input to your uh, product second mo product modulator. That is the only difference. So here it will be cos 2 pi FCT plus 5. So 90 degree phase shifter or a Hilbert transformer which will give you sin 2 pi FCT plus 5. So once you are getting your, what will be your output of your product modulator. If I take this uh, output as is equal to V1 of T. Then V1 of T is equal to your S of T into your cos 2 pi FCT right plus 5. So this is going to be your. Um, product of both the uh, signals will be your uh, output of your product modulator. The output of the product modulator will be given to a low pass filter. So your product modulator output will be having both your high frequency and low frequency component which will be given to your low pass filter. So after it is filtered it will retain only your low frequency signal. Okay. So similarly same thing happens in your second uh, that is your Q channel. Q channel also you will be having your DSB SC signal as one of your output phase shifted signal as sine 2 pi FCT plus 5. So you'll be getting let me take this as V2 of T V2 of T will be equal to S of T into your sine 2 pi FCT plus 5. Okay. It will be given to a low pass filter which will uh, retain only your low frequency signal. So the uh, both the signal that is if I take this as V not 1 of t and this is v naught of t output of both the low pass filter will be given to your next stage that is your third stage which is nothing but your phase discriminator what is the role of this phase discriminator the phase discriminator uh, uh, what it does is based on the phase difference between the two signal the phase discriminator produces a dc control signal which is fed as the input to your voltage controlled oscillator Right. So what is the use of this voltage control oscillator? It will correct the 
phase error in the VCO output. Therefore, the carrier signal which is used in the modulator side and your locally generated signal um, that is the VCO output will be in phase with each other. Okay, so this is in general the working principle of your uh, Costas receiver. So we will move on to the next slide. So in the next slide, so as I have mentioned uh, before, it consists of two coherent detectors with same DSB-SC signal as your input. Okay, so what are the two uh, parts you have? What is one is your in phase and the other one is your quadrature component with phase quadrature to each other. Okay, so the upper path represents the in phase uh, component or your I channel, and the lower path represents the quadrature component or your Q channel. So, frequency of the local oscillator is same as that of your carrier frequency FC. Let us consider two cases. Okay, so uh, let us consider for the first case if the same phase of that of your carrier signal AC into cos 2 pi FCT, there is no change in your phase. Okay, then what will be your I channel output? I channel output will be uh, given as will be the, your desired demodulated signal m of t and your q channel output will be equal to zero it is due to the uh, present uh, due to the concept of quadrature null effect now in the case two if you have uh, a certain drift of your free, uh, phase that is phased if the local oscillator phase drift of uh, phi radians is assumed then what will be your uh, output of your i channel i channel output will be unchanged and your q channel output there will be a small signal present which is proportional to your sine phi, which is approximately equal to phi for small phi. Okay, so if we go on to the analysis, so starting off with the analysis, we know that S of t is equal to what is your S of t? M of t into C of t, right? AC into cos 2 pi FCT, which is nothing but your modulated signal or your DSB SC signal. Right, so also uh, this DSB SC modulated signal is given to your as input to your two modulators. So let us consider for the first case upper modulator, upper demodulator or upper uh, detector. Okay, so what if I take this as V1 of T, output of your product modulator, upper product modulator as V1 of T, what will be your V1 of T will be equal to S of T into cos 2 pi FCT plus 5 right so how can you uh, write this equation instead of s of t substitute the value m of t into ac into cos 2 pi fc t right into cos 2 pi fc t plus 5 now what you will be getting m of t into if i take ac okay ac into m of t as common then it is in the form cos a cos b so we can reconfigure the equation as cos a plus b right so 2 pi fct so you'll be getting cos 4 pi fct plus 5 right plus cos a minus b 2 pi fct 2 pi fct will get cancelled so you'll be getting cos 5 divided by 2 2 i have taken it as common so you will be having both your higher frequency term and your lower frequency term so if i give this as input to the next part that is your low pass filter if i pass it through a low pass filter if i take this output as b not 1 of t what will be your output it will uh, it will eliminate your high frequency term and it will retain only your low frequency term so your output of your low pass filter will be equal to ac by 2 into m of t into cos phi which is nothing but your scaled uh, version of your modulating signal so this is your v not one of t okay similarly if i apply this uh, for the same concept if i apply for the second coherent detector what you will be getting v two of t is equal to what will be the value s of t into your 90 degree phase shifted signal right so, so sine 2 pi fct plus phi so instead of s of t you are going to substitute the value what is your uh, s of t m of t into ac into cos 2 pi fct into sin 2 pi fct plus phi so here also same thing we will do we will take m of t then ac is common so it is in the form uh, cos a sin b right so we can replace it by sin a plus b so you will be getting 4 pi fct right sin a plus b so it is plus 5 plus sin a minus b so 2 pi fct 2 pi fct will get cancelled sin 5 divided by 2 
So same thing you are going to do if I apply it to your low pass filter, what will be your signal low pass filter to down lower detector. Then if I take that as B not 2 of T, what will happen? Your, it will eliminate your high frequency signal and it will retain only your low frequency signal. So B not 2 of T will be equal to M of T into AC divided by 2 into sine 5. Right, sine 5. So this will be your output of your second low pass filter. Now these uh, two which is nothing but uh, the phase which is having a phase a difference of minus 90 degree. Now it will be these two signal V not 2 of T right V not 2 of T and V not 1 of T which will be given as input to your phase discriminator. So what your phase discriminator will do based on the uh, phase difference between the two signals the phase discriminator produces a DC control signal. So this signal will be given as input to your voltage controlled oscillator to correct the phase error in the VCO output. So that what is the main uh, use of this VCO output the, the carrier signal used in the modulator and the, this locally generated signal that is your VCO output always will be in phase with each other.